you ever heard of Juice Plus? And I had not. And quite honestly, I wasn't really that interested in starting anything that had to do with pills. But she gave me a tape, a cassette tape, and it's really not lost on me that I'm talking about phone calls and cassette tapes and a next-gen panel. <laughs> but that's how we shared Juice Plus back then. And on it was a doctor, and he talked about how nutrition related to disease, and I had never thought of that before. And he got us to consider you know, when we're eating more fruits and vegetables, the less likely we are to get the things we don't want to get. Diabetes, cancer, and heart disease, and that's all in my family. And so I had my husband listen to that tape as well, and we decided to get started. And you know, the research really spoke to us as well. And all along, you know, we did not have any health challenges per se, but we were looking for an advantage. And so we were, we were glad to get started with Juice Plus, and in that year, we had a baby. And after that baby was born, I decided I had a strong desire to stay at home with him. I wanted to create my own life. I wanted to have some freedom and flexibility. And it was actually my husband who, said, who asked me to talk to Sue about this business. And my first thought was, oh my gosh, I've never been sold Girl Scout cookies, but we're gonna give this a whirl. And I knew it was gonna be fun because Sue was fun. But what was most surprising is that became fulfilling. My customers were coming to me and saying, you know, I'm sleeping better, I have more energy, my kids are eating their fruits and vegetables, and I had a part of their story. I was so fulfilled by that. But also then what happened was this became financially rewarding. It bridged the gap in our income, and we were able to make choices that we may not have been able to make otherwise. Well, today I'm extremely proud and excited to introduce to you my favorite male Gen Zer, Luke Lynham. And Luke, I want to have you talk about your journey with Juice Plus and really where you are now with it, with the business, and what you see for the future. Woo! Juice Plus, how we doing? Woo! Can we give it up for all the Juice Plus babies in the room? I mean, look at this picture. If you haven't guessed, that is me, and I am so blessed to have been fueled by Juice Plus for the last 23 years of my life, and uh, I'm even more excited that it's going to fuel me for the rest of my life, am I right? Um, so I'd love to dive in more about how my product and business story, you know, really truly shines, mainly the product, but I want to dive into the business side of things, because I want you guys to have the opportunity to see it from the lens of a young Gen Z, and hopefully maybe you baby boomers can add some youth to your teams along the way as well. <laughs> With that being said, my freshman year of college, COVID kind of zapped up a lot of my job opportunities. My gracious and loving mother came to me with the opportunity to join the business. And so I said, yeah, I can, can do that. And then I thought, I'd seen my mom for the last 20 years have this amazing, successful global health food company business that created flexibility, time freedom, and more importantly, she built amazing, healthy relationships along the way many of who are probably in this room and have known me as a baby. How cool is that? <laughs> Along the way, I was also able to work really hard and create a stream of income for myself that was reliable and sustainable. And what that did for me, guys, in such a small sample size was create a vision and an opportunity for what this could truly be for me going forward. There's two big areas I wanna to touch on with how the reason that I'm drawn in as a young individual and why I think anyone should be drawn in, but especially the younger generation. First and foremost, this is what you make it. You know, this can start out as something part-time for you, and with a lot of hard work and resilience, it could be something more, and we have that opportunity. I'm very financially minded, uh, and so as a financially minded person, I like to look at things in terms of just little monetary gains, right? For me, I've seen through hard work what just something simply like 200 to $500 a month can truly do for you. I mean, let's be honest, that could be a car payment, that could be a loan repayment, Let's be honest, that could be some of our monthly Starbucks allowances, right? I mean, if we're being really honest, for some of you, weekly. But the point I'm trying to make here, guys, is that cost of living is going up. Inflation is high. Things are expensive. We have to give ourselves every opportunity we can and vehicles and streams of income to allow us to have success in this world. Another huge thing I want to touch on, and I hope you guys take a lot away from this, is just the aspect of teams. I've been a part of teams my entire life. Those of you that know success in this company, did you do it alone? Probably not. We aren't alone. 
Gen Z, we have a community of people and it's so cool that we can do this business with like-minded individuals, but also gain wisdom from an older generation that has ran the course. Not many companies can offer that. Healthy relationships are everything and this business provides that for us. Just to wrap things up here, I uh, just wanna share kind of how I've reached the younger generation, how I like to kind of paint pictures for them. A big thing and a little tip I might give you is just try to use analogies and things that we can relate to. That's so important in our generation because of the, the generational gap, right? Something that I like to do is I look at investing money. So when you think about a young college graduate, they're probably receiving a check you know, that they might not have had before. Why is investing money important is what I ask. Not for what it can do for you today or tomorrow, but what it's gonna do for you in the future. You can kind of see where I may be going with that with your health. Why is that any different? So invest in your health, take advantage of a global health food business that offers relationships, community, and maybe a little money on the side as well with some hard work. To close it out, I wanna say something and bring something up that if you guys have never heard from before, please write this down. It comes from Jeff Olson, I don't know if you guys heard of him. But he says, your nutrition is only as good as your execution. How true is that? How true is that for our businesses? So Juice Plus, I challenge you with this, I challenge myself with this, but invest in your health, invest in your business, and bloom where you're planted. Uh,